Okay, in this section we're going to talk about categories and we actually have uh, two types of categories in WordPress. And the first type of category we're going to look at is the type that's associated with posts. So here we have our Bicycle Club blog again and our first post here is about a mountain bike race. Let's scroll down a little bit and we can see that uh, this is about a mountain bike race on President's Day and this race actually happens at a place called Bootleg Canyon. So we see that uh, one of our categories here is Bootleg Canyon and the other one is Races. And we actually assign these when we, when we write our post. So if we look over in our sidebar, we see uh, a box called Races, Rides, and Events. And these are the categories that all of our posts are associated with. Now when we have a blog like this that has hundreds and hundreds of posts, the only way we can really keep track of them is through the use of categories. So uh, in this case we have races, which is a uh, top level category. Uh, we have 168 posts associated with this category. And underneath we have subcategories, which are actually the individual races. And in our example, off to the left, we have uh, Bootleg Canyon, and we see we actually have two posts associated with uh, Bootleg Canyon. Let's go ahead and drill down into one of our subcategories here. Uh, let's look at the uh, races Deer Valley and the 10 posts that are associated with it. And so as soon as we click into it, we see all of our Deer Valley race posts often in the uh, left-hand column there. And uh, from this, we can see how incredibly important it is to have well-thought-out categories so we can organize the hundreds of posts that uh, we expect to have on our blog. We're going to go into our Bike Club blog dashboard here, and we're going to go down to our main menu bar, and we're going to go over to uh, Manage, click in on that, and then here on our secondary bar, uh, we can go into Categories, and we can see that we have our existing categories listed down here. Uh, and they're in alphabetical order, and here we have our main categories, and the ones with the dash on it are actually a uh, subcategory under the uh, parent category. So under uh, BMX, we have Carson City, BMX, Open Ground, and all the other uh, subcategories that are underneath the parent category. And if we scroll down a little further, we just see the uh, more parent categories listed here. Okay, let's go ahead and add a new category. And let's click through on this and we'll call this uh, Road Bikes. And let's make this a uh, underneath a parent category of Bikes. And we could put a description in here if we wanted to. And let's go ahead and add the category. And then if we uh, go up here, we see at the bottom of the list we see Bikes, uh, Road Bikes. Uh, let's go ahead when we refresh the screen. Let's go ahead and refresh the screen and we should see uh, let's go scroll up to the top here and now when we come into this we see uh, bikes with the subcategory of road bikes underneath. Now let's look at the other type of categories that WordPress supports and that is link categories. So let's go back into our manage menu here and on the uh, secondary menu bar we see a uh, item called link categories and when we jump into this we see the link categories are listed in alphabetical order down here on the left and we see that uh, over here on the right uh, the number of links that are associated with each one of these categories now links are just uh, URLs to a, a external website that is uh, usually related to what our blog is about or you know something of interest to our blog readers. So let's go out to our uh, Mountain Bike Club blog and we'll see uh, how we actually use these. Uh, we see here that we have a, a group of links to external sites and they're under a category called Blog Roll. Uh, below that there's a, actually another category called DHRINO Supporters with uh, the associated links underneath that. And, uh, and so on. We've got uh, several of these link categories. So let's go back into our 
uh, dashboard here into the manage link category section and let's add a new category and let's call this uh, test category and we could make a description if we wanted to we'll add this and uh, there it is we have our new test category and so far uh, zero links are associated with it okay let's jump over uh, and see how this actually applies when we add a link let's click into uh, links here and now we're in the uh, manage links menu we see all of our links down the side here uh, uh, we see what the URL is and then uh, what category it's actually under. So let's go ahead and add a new link and we're, we're just going to call this uh, test link and we can put an address in here. Let's go uh, let's make this uh, yahoo.com just as an example and uh, we could put a category in here. Let's get let's put this in our new test category. And uh, there it is right there. Check that box. And then when we say save, that will create a new uh, link for us. Let's go back in and uh, look at our links again in the manage section. And if we jump down here uh, to the T's, we should see our new uh, uh, our new test link is right here and uh, we're actually in the uh, test category. So in this tutorial we've looked at the two different types of categories that are available to us in uh, WordPress and the first one we looked at were the post categories and if we look down here uh, we see that uh, we have our post categories that enable us to uh, actually group our post uh, into logical categories so we can look them up much easier later. The second type of category we looked at were the link categories and as we discovered links are simply URLs to external sites and this gives us the ability to uh, group our links into logical categories uh, so we can uh, search those much easier. Tutorials.